Hi, I'm really glad you're joining us here. Just yesterday, when I was talking to another parent, something came up that I don't think gets addressed nearly enough, and that's fear. Fear when you're going through child custody battles. What are some of your worst fears when you're fighting to be with your child? Do I look okay? Do I sound okay? Did I do my hair just right? Do you not like what I'm wearing? What can they use against me? Do I have enough money to pay to keep fighting to be with my child? How can this even be happening? It might even cross your mind. Since when can they start judging me and telling me that I have to prove that I'm a good parent to continue to have my child? How is it possible that I can be expected to spend more money than I would spend paying for my child's college education and still not have my own child? How can this be happening? And how could I not know that this could happen? How can this be allowed and why can't I stop them? Why can't I just force them to stop doing this to me and my child? How can they possibly get their hands on my child and I can't do a thing about it? If I didn't mention, I'm Sherry Palmer with Fixed Family Courts. Tomorrow night, Ron and I will address some of the worst fears and realities that you might face in child custody battles. And what are some of the things you can do about it? If you've ever been threatened with or in a child custody battle, you know how scary it is to run out of money or even to feel helpless at stopping them even when you have a lot of money. They say the poverty is not a reason that you can lose your child. And you think that if you have money, you can stop this from happening. But what has been hidden from you just might shock you into realizing that poverty is not the only enemy in this and that having money may not be the solution either. When I was going through this, and as long as I have children under the age of 18, there is a constant threat that anyone at any time can interfere with me and my child and everything I've ever worked for, prepared for, or thought was protected is not out of reach of the family courts and that all of the rules and procedures and protections that I thought I had as an American, as a parent, may not actually exist. And further, I find out that I have to know cases and law and be prepared for those in power to ignore these, even when I have an attorney. I found out that I had to be prepared to live a life where nobody wanted to admit this was actually happening and nobody was there to help and worse that my child could be taken from me by the other parent, their siblings, other relatives, and absolute complete strangers. And that I might not get to raise or influence my child or even protect them from what I used to shield them from when I was married or with the other parent. And most of this was happening because I had no idea that it could. And so I wasn't prepared and I didn't even have any idea that I needed to be prepared. Maybe because I was focusing on raising my child before this. And that's probably happened to you if you're here today. So the questions are, must I be rich? Must I be educated beyond a high school diploma? Must I know how to counter every attack? Must I this and must I that? Where does it end? And how can this actually be happening in America? The land of freedom, liberty, and justice, right? But many of you find out when you go through a relationship breakup that this quickly becomes the land to fear. We are talking about the family courts and the family court process. So I invite you to join me and Ron tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time right here to share the fears and realities and hear some of those that others have been faced with since someone else decided that they had the right to take your child. See you tomorrow night. 8 p.m. Be sure to mark your calendars and don't miss this one because it takes us a while to get it edited and posted online. Talk to you soon.